What's up guys? How you doing? Well, I hope. Today's video is a big announcement. Um, I'm moving. Yeah! I'm moving. If you are new here and you just like watching, you know, apartment tours or people looking for apartments, welcome. My name is Kelly. This is Anna Get Dressed. Feel free to subscribe if you like what you see here. Uh, not mandatory, but it's totally free and we're nice. You know what I'm saying? Um, for my fam fam, I'm moving you guys. I know the big question is going to be, are you moving back to New York City? And the answer is no, I am not. If you're curious and you haven't seen my apartment, uh, the current one, there is an apartment tour um, that I will link below. So yeah, I'm moving and um, the reason that I'm moving is I wanted to be careful when I moved to LA, right? I was moving from New York to LA across the country. I needed to make sure I like it. So when I moved here, I got a one bedroom just to kind of ease in. I didn't want to get some big space and decide that I didn't like it and end up leaving. So now that I know that I do want to live here at least another year, um, I am really comfortable to kind of expand a little bit just because I work from home. I should also silence my phone. It's going crazy. There we go. I work from home and, you know, um, working and living in the same space is not the healthiest, you know what I mean, for your mental health. Like, I, I need to be able to separate my work from the place where I, like, relax. And it's hard for me to unwind when I'm constantly working on my computer, filming, um, recording my podcast, which is coming soon, uh, in the same space. So I'm really hoping to get at least a two bedroom. Um, another thing on my wish list would be outdoor space. I feel like as I'm wandering around LA in this beautiful, perfect weather, sometimes I'm like, I wanna go home, but I still wanna be outside. Um, I haven't had outdoor space since I moved away from home, my parents' house. So it's something that would be um, a really incredible perk for me and something that I like super, super, super want. I'm gonna stop rambling and let's jump into the first place that I saw. Okay, one of the first places I saw was a house in Hollywood. It is a two bedroom house. I walked up to the house and I thought, huh, this is really cute. It's kind of like a craft mini style. There was a front yard, um, the really cute sort of like porch. Um, I was a little put aback by the fact that like, it was next to what seemed like an apartment building that would potentially be kind of loud. I don't know, there was a lot of like traffic in and out of the apartment building. And then the driveway was sort of like connected to some apartments behind the house. And it was also across the street from one of the studios. I don't know if it was like Paramount or I can't remember, but it was across the street from one of the studios. Um, so you're just sort of like facing a giant brick wall. Um, walking into the apartment, there was um, a small living room, which from the pictures, to be honest, it looked huge. It looked more lofty. Um, so it just looked like one big open space. But once I was inside, the living room felt really small. Um, there was a faux fireplace, which was kind of great. Um, and there was a dining space, but it was sort of awkwardly laid out and I couldn't quite tell like where you could even put a sofa. You couldn't put it on the wall where the door was because the door would hit it. And then there was a wall of windows. I don't know, it was just sort of awkwardly laid out. Off of the dining room was another small sort of like bonus room. I guess you could, in New York, they would definitely call it a bedroom. Anything with a window in New York could be called a bedroom. Um, but it was more like of a bonus space. And um, to me, the reason I was interested in seeing this house was because I thought this would be a great filming room. It was really white and bright and um, like open. And then off of the the bedroom, the dining room was um, the kitchen, which was also sort of strange because there was a kitchen and then a laundry room off to the side, but also there was a, um, the refrigerator was back there. So it was like the refrigerator was not even like inside the kitchen. It was off to the side in the laundry space. Um, and then off of the living room were two bedrooms. Through the two bedrooms were um, this like pink old school bathroom, but almost railroad style, which means you like walk in one door and you can go out another door. Like so both bedrooms had a door to the bathroom. 
Um, and then there was a backyard. So I don't know if I recall that in the order in which you're seeing on the video, but I want to pop in a little bit of footage from the apartment just to get, you know, you guys can see it while I'm talking about it. Um, so it was kind of a by owner situation. The man that showed it to me, he seemed pretty nice and he was kind of willing to just like hand me the apartment. He was very like, yeah, I like you. That's cool. Like you fill out the stuff. Um, you can have it if you want. But I just didn't get a good feeling about the place and I knew that I wanted to keep looking. The next place I saw was another house, but I guess they're like kind of duplexes. So I'm not really used to the whole duplex complex, uh, com duplex complex, what was I saying? Duplex, I don't know what the word I was gonna use was. But it was um, way further east, so it was kind of all the way out in Eagle Rock, and I actually really loved this place. So it had a cute little like side garden thing um, next to the house. Um, so it had like pebbles and everything, and a little cute fountain, and you could totally sit like a table and chairs out there. Um, but when you walk in, it was a really pretty, really well done. Um, and the girl who was showing it to me, she was the owner and she lived in the unit behind the fret house. Um, so she did a really good job at like restoring everything. Um, so it had like beautiful wood floors, nice size living room, a little dining area. Um, the kitchen was super cute. She did a good job. I didn't love the, the tile on the floor. It was meant to look sort of like rustic or something, but it just looked kind of dirty. So I don't know, but it was pretty cool. Um, then there was two bedrooms. Uh, the bathroom was also done really, really well. There was a lot of like um, storage space because she kept all of the built-ins, which I love, like I love charm. I love charm like if you there's also a video of my new york apartment if you're curious um the, the type of places that i pick but my new york apartment was a pre-war and i just love old world, world charm i haven't ever lived in anything modern to be honest um so i uh, really loved the bedrooms i loved i loved i really just loved the whole place it was super cute um she seemed pretty chill and nice we only shared one wall which was cool um but the problem for me with this place was it's super like loud um so the street the main street that the house was on it was just like it wasn't a lot of traffic but it was one of those streets where cars are going fast so even if it's just a few cars there was a lot of street noise self-love new merch i don't know if you're checking it out like if you're if you're watching this and you're like wow cal i'm really interested in these places that you went to go see but i love your long sleeve um yeah this is mine so i will link it below it's there's a lot of new merch so if you haven't made yourself aware get into it this one's my favorite so far Place number three, and just the funny thing is, is like the real estate market in New York versus LA, like all of these places are completely livable and super nice. Like, I just feel like the options were not endless, like, but they were just so much more bountiful of like what's actually in your price range and what is not requiring you to take a DNA test and like submit blood work and I don't know, promise your fourth born child to get into or, or an expectation that you make 700,000 times the yearly rent to rent it. Um, you know, was this a lot more ease? The front of the house was legitimately like purple and red. I like these color combinations in fashion, but I don't know that I want to live in a purple and red house. So it was purple and red. And um, when I went in, again, it looked a lot smaller than the photos, even though it wasn't small. So the living room was okay. Um, the kitchen was actually kind of great. It wasn't my style, but it was super nice. It was a little bit country for my taste. Um, and then off the like side of the kitchen was this little dining nook. And there were two bedrooms and I think there were two bathrooms. Um, yeah, because there was a bathroom inside the bedroom and then another one like from the hallway. I don't know I just didn't get a good vibe it was like during an open house the guy who was showing it felt super distracted and not that into me like meaning like he was so happy to show everyone else and then with me he just sort of let me wander around by myself which wasn't a great feeling 
Um, and then the owners of the place being built were building this really large house, like right behind this little house. And um, I don't know if they were gonna plant trees or something, but it just felt like the owners were gonna be like staring right into the back of my space. So it was a strange, I wasn't into it at all. The next place I saw was, oh, she was dreamy, you guys. This place is a Spanish style with modern updates. It's like kind of my dream place. Um, it had this beautiful wooden Spanish door, fireplace, big giant bay windows, um, a pass through to a separate dining room, separate kitchen. The kitchen had this really beautiful like farmhouse sink. Um, it was uh, by level. And so it was another, it was like a, guess what you call a townhouse. And so it was connected in a building. So the building almost felt like an apartment building. Like the front of it just looked like a giant Spanish style like mansion kind of thing. But it was like all separate entrances. And they were duplex townhouses. So they each had two floors. They had um, like terracotta steps and you go upstairs and then there were two bedrooms like you get to the top of the steps bedroom one bedroom two um there was a bathroom with a separate bathtub and shower i don't know it was just perfect except one thing it was just a little bit dark and it was well it was actually kind of very dark and i don't know if i can gauge properly because my current place is like almost 360 like what's what's 360 minus one wall like it was almost panoramic windows in here, so it's incredibly bright. I literally do not turn on the lights in here until the sun sets because it's just so bright. And my place in New York was also very bright. So I don't know that I would do well like mentally without a really bright place. And then also, of course, for filming, it's hecka easier to, you know, create content, take photos when the lighting is always like popping. So the last place is this modern two bedroom um, apartment. I said, let me go see a modern one. You've never done it. Maybe you'll like it. Um, and I wanted to see if I could find something modern that just didn't feel like a box, you know? Like I just don't want an empty box with no charm. And so I went to go see this place in a really good area um, that was close to like a lot of stuff that I do. And I really liked the building and I liked you know, the windows, it, it kind of had like a cool vibe. So I go see it and when you walk in, you're just in this really wide sort of foyer area and there is a bathroom off to the side and then there's a laundry closet and then you're just sort of in the living room. But off the living room is a small kitchen, super modern though, like every kind of modern convenience you can want, but it was small. And then, you know, the dining room and the living room were sort of a shared space. It was more of an alcove. It did have a little balcony and the balcony was like directly facing the Hollywood sign, which was kind of awesome. And I love that they had these like really big square windows. It just felt like super modern. Um, but yeah, the windows were really modern and kind of cool. So they weren't like the standard like two windows that you normally get. It was like one big square one which I don't know, it kind of like gave a vibe. And it brought a little bit of the outside in because there's palm trees right out front. Um, so then uh, there were two bedrooms and there were one more bathroom. So yeah, there was two bedrooms and another full bathroom. And I will say that the bedrooms were on the smaller side of what I had been seeing. And the number one thing that I really didn't like like was the closets for the bedrooms had a mirror on it. So it was like mirror doors. If you have mirror doors, please do not take offense. It's just it was not what I would choose for myself. Um, one, because I film a lot and I need to not necessarily always be reflecting the camera. I don't know. It was just it just wasn't what I wanted. You know, that was the last place that I saw before I made the decision that I made. Um... That's it, wow, that was a lot. I hope you made it through this video. I hope you enjoy it, because like, I love seeing inside of apartments, houses, homes, empty ones, decorated ones. Like, If you're like, hey Kel, wanna come look at my house? The answer is yes, yes I do. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that. I did pick an apartment, house thing, townhouse, duplex, whatever. Um, I'm really excited to actually sign the least, least lease last week 
she can talk she can do it um and you will be seeing that very soon that'll be the next video it'll be like my empty tour and for those of you who want to follow this journey make sure you hit that subscribe button um they're gonna be moving vlogs they're gonna be decorating vlogs i am redecorating i know i'm crazy i just showed you this apartment and i'm already changing things but that's who i am that's what i do uh so that's that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed love you mean it bye